Disco. Disco. I think the look is a bit simple. And yeah. Para siyang... Mother of the Bride? I see what you're saying. Oh my god, I just realized. We busted almost half oh, yeah. of the remaining queens. Mabuhay, drag addicts! It's your drag lord, Manila Luzon. <laughs> Time flies when you're on the run. Wait. Did I just say on the run? I mean, time flies when you're having fun. It seems like only yesterday when we dropped our first teaser for Drag Dance season two. And now my babies are all grown up and on the road to being crowned the new Filipino Drag Supreme. This is The Drag Bust, a little show on YouTube where we review the drag looks from a big show on Prime Video. The drag snitches Aries Knight and Odasha have switched sides and are working for the fashion police. I know! They've been doing a great job judging the looks on the current season of Drag Den, and an even better job at getting on my nerves. Last time, I left you with two brain-teasing riddles. Riddles that hint at this week's theme wear and main drag showdown. A battle for the best of the best in school with beautiful muses that made all the boys drool. And for our second one, a magical knight in suit and gown made for young lovers to paint the town. I'm sure you all figured it out. Maybe because you're good at riddles or maybe because you literally just finished watching the new Drag Den episode on Prime. Before we find out what intel these two snitches are divulging to the fashion police, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that little bell. All right, roll the tape. I'm your drag agent on duty, Ari Knight. And I'm your drag agent on duty, Odasha. That's it? No jokes? No off-color humor? Who's not? Eh? Just go. Mm. Pagod na ang kiss. Well, true. Erate na natin looks nila. Go. You're watching a brand new episode of The Drug Bus. And this time, we'll be discussing the team wear and the main drag looks of the recent episode of The Drag Dance Season 2. Retribution. This episode is all about Pinoy school traditions where we get to see a literal blast from the past. For the team where the queens were asked to prepare a sporty yet sexy look. Kasi nga, malilibog ang judges. Yeah, Kailangan lagi sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and they were asked to incorporate props. So, Miss Rasha Fox, this is your episode. True, the props queen of the season. Right. <laughs> so first up is Deja. Deja and my favorite color. So the sport niya here is tennis. Oh, so social naman ng ate ko te. Puto o pero bakit yung balikat niya? Ang football. Football. <laughs> In fairness, the look ang ganda. I love it. Neon green, neon green, Totoo. neon green. Oh, uh, hindi ako biased kasi favorite color ko siya ha. Pero ang ganda talaga. What I love about this look is she looks like she really is gonna play tennis because of all the sports accessories she is wearing. Right. The cap, the knee pads, but we both know if para saan talaga yung knee pads na yan. Mm-hmm. Kung anong pang load yan. True. And, oh, meron siyang tennis balls sa kanyang panties. Ang ganda. Ano siya? Well put together. It is. Um, sobrang, ano siya. Mukha talaga siyang totoong tennis player. Ang fantasy niya is Olympic medalist siya. <laughs> <laughs> May tennis ba sa Olympics? Meron na ngayon. Ah, pero meron nga. <laughs> Alam ko meron. Oh, meron na ngayon. Diba ka sila si Rina? Yung A. Girl! Oh my god! Basic math! <laughs> In fairness, I love Deja's look. So we're gonna give Deja a... Buxin! Next up, we have FIFA Fatale. Fatale. And she chose Arnie's. Plus points for her for choosing Arnie's. Oh, she chose Arnie's. <laughs> Did she chose also our nephews? No? <laughs> so Arnie's plus points for her for choosing Arnie's, a local sport in the Philippines. We love this. I love the details on the shoes, on the legs. What is that? Oh, nga. Are those like knee pads or something? Parang knee pads sa 
our knees. Or shin protector. And then she revealed into a... Barangay Tano. What the fuck? <laughs> In fairness, kasi naman talaga, ang Arnis mas nagagamit ng mga Barangay Tano. Totoo naman yan. Totoo din naman. And in fairness, gusto ko na na-incorporate niya pa rin yung sport with her look. And at the same time, may twist. And my story. And my story. It was a very, kumbaga may joke element siya. And in fairness, kudos to that. May camp element siya. In fairness na kanya. So, Fiva, we're giving you a... Basse! Next queen is Marco. Marco. Giving you chest, chest, chest. Ganda. Ganda oh, I love it. Parang ano siya, Queen's Gambit, pero may halong legally blunt. Oh yeah, I see that. Ang ganda na may actual chest pieces na nakadikit dun sa garment. Pati sa nails niya, may naroon. Oh. Yan nga. Chest pieces rin yung nails niya and also may earrings siya chest piece. Ano kayo sports niya? Chest Mabibili with. sa suking tindahan. <laughs> In fairness, I love the look. It's so campy. Ang ganda nung meron din siyang bag. Parang first person. Yung first. chess board. Chess board. Checkmate, bitch. Oh. oh. Okay. In fairness din kay Margo here, meron din siyang camp element. In fairness sa queens ngayon, ha? Kaya nga, eh. May mga gag sila. Wala naman sa brief that it requires a, like, a joke or a pun to it. But so far, Deja, Fiva, and Margo had puns. Totoo. In so, fairness. medyo kinakaban na ako sa next few girls. Margot! Dahil binigay mo kami ng chess and chess, bibigyan ka namin ng bus and <laughs> busin! Our next queen is all the way from Bacolod City. Boy. Giving you basketball realness. Okay! In fairness sa kanya, ha? pang ilan na, na nag-basketball this season. Actually, this season. Kasalanan na rin na iya. Kaya nga, guys, girls, and moi, <laughs> um, hindi natin kailangan mag-jersey para maging the, the new, new drag, drag supreme. supreme. Anong bang kailangan para maging the new drag supreme? Oh, um, siguro, uh, feel ko kaya dapat charismatic sila. Uh-huh. Ka- dapat, um, unique sila. Mag-isip, unique oh, yung okay. pagkakatao nila. Dapat may nerve sila. Para, uh-huh. you know, parang, Nervous sila. Wait lang, alam, parang alam ko anong sunod. Ano? Talent? Oh my god, hindi! Ano? Gaga yung TS for tae. <laughs> give, give. Kailangan yung matae sa oh stage. Oh my god, actually kinabahan ako, akala ko iba ang pinag-uusapan mo. Ay, gaga hindi, gaga. Anyway, Moy, I love that she incorporated the basketball net as her skirt. Totoo, um, hindi siya literal at like jersey lang. Totoo, and ginamit niya this time yung breasts niya as the basketball. I love the wig that it's orange, and in fairness, ang ganda ng look. I love the look. I like it too. Yes. Nashoot siya dun sa ring, and for that, shoot din siya. <laughs> sa basin ko. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, Moy, you are... Basin! For three points. Our next queen is Mrs. Tan. Who is also giving you tennis. Unfortunately, we will have to compare this with Tejas. Totoo, kasi parang given na yun eh, na kung sino mas maganda sa inyo, eh yun. Yeah, wala, andun na eh, magkapareho kayo, so... Mako-compare talaga mako-compare kayo. Mako-compare talaga. I prefer Tejas over Mine this. Mine too. Especially seeing it first before that. Kaya nga eh, um, after pa siya na yung Tejas, so... Parang na-preempt na nga siya, hindi pa mas maganda yung look niya kay Deja. Yeah, or hindi man naging up to par. Kung baga yung kay Deja, tennis, yung kay Mrs. Tan, nagmukhang badminton. And also, <laughs> she had a gag under her skirt. Ooh, was it her boss? <laughs> fortunately, no, but... Fortunately. I, <laughs> she had... <laughs> fortunately, no, but she had this signage where yung... When there's a liga or in trams, the muse will hold the, the logo of the barangay or the team that they are representing. And pero yeah, I think the gag wasn't enough to save her. Yeah, to save this look. Yeah, yeah. This is the tennis player that I would give a red card to. Kaya wala pa siyang ginagawa. Yeah, red card agad. Toto, papasok palang siya sa court. Red card. True. So Mrs. Stan, for that, we're gonna give you. Busted. A busted girl. Yeah, you are busted. And our last queen is Miss Russia. Fuck. Oh my god. She's a weightlifter. She is the body. She built her own body. Yeah, that's why she's a <laughs> bodybuilder. <laughs> but here she is a weightlifter. Did she weight the girl? Yeah. Okay. To lift her. Oh. <laughs> she is a weightlifter 
Mukha siyang wrestler. I love it. Amazona ang dating niya sa akin. Totoo. Um, she looks like an Amazon. Mukha siyang mambubugbog din. Nakakatakot siya. Feel ko horror episode pa rin tayo. <laughs> But yung props, pag tinanggal ba yung props, magmumukha pa rin siyang weightlifting. If you remove the barbell, I think it will come off still as something like a physical sport. Maybe wrestling. Yeah. Might I just add the gag with her props? Just go. Just go. As you said earlier, Miss Russia with the props. Our props queen and she delivered. She delivered once again. In the fairness came Miss Russia, she, she really came prepared. It's giving for me a gag worthy kind of look concept because of the theatrics once again. Yes. But basing it off by just the look alone, what do you think? Ooh, that's hard. Pero kasi ang critical natin kay Mrs. Stan na nagmukha naman siyang tennis sport regardless kung may props o hindi. Eh, parang unfair if we bust in this girl. Yeah, I think so too. I think the look is a bit simple and yeah. for weightlifting, I think mas ano siya, sana. Mas mukha siyang wrestler nga. Mas mukha siyang wrestler than weightlifting. Very WWE. With that, Miss Russia, sorry this time the props won't work on us. Yeah. So you are busted. busted. Oh, Dasha. Mm. What did we celebrate this week? Uh, payday. Payday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's worth celebrating. But I'll give you a hint. Okay. It's all about love, Cupid, red. Love is in the air. Oh, I get it. Chinese New Year. Gaga. Valentine's! Valentine's! Okay, akala ano ba yan? Sorry! Diyos ko, intro ka! Ni hao ma! <laughs> And of course, what a better way to celebrate this Valentine's week than the Queen's main drag showdown, which is a night at prom. Eh, the girls were asked. Ang dami nilang ina-ask sa kanila. Pang ilang question na ba to? Were asked, asked, asked. The girls were asked to get all dolled up in their sparkliest. Glitter gowns that had to. Naiya, listen, naiya, naiya. That had to touch the ground. Oh my God! Finally, a specific brief. Yes, Miss Naiya. <laughs> sana, sana, sana ganon sa atin las. Totoo. Now let's get into their prom looks. No, I don't want to. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> First up is. Deja. Ooh, silver dress, silver gown. Does it touch the floor? It does. Okay. Naya, take notes. She's so beautiful. Can you zoom in, please? She's so gorgeous. I think this is the most beautiful I've seen Deja so far. Ang ganda nga. Yes. Ang ganda. Oh my god, ang ganda. Ay, lamang sabi ko, ang ganda kasi. This is the queen that when I see attends my high school prom, Isipin ko, anak ng politiko to. Totoo, mayaman. Mahal mayaman. yung gown. Mahal yung gown. Designer yung gown. In fairness, I love the swirls, the silver swirls. And the nude illusion this time works. Totoo, ang ganda ng nude illusion niya. It matches the skin. I love the hair with it. It looks classic. It looks clean. It is. It is. So for that, Miss Deja, we're gonna give you a... Bussin. Bussin. Next is FIFA Fatale. Fatale. Another queen na sobrang diyosa. Hindi ko in-expect na kaya pang sagarin ni FIFA ang kagandahan niya. Actually, we always say throughout the series that FIFA is the face card, card of the season. And never gonna decline. Never nag-decline ang kanyang face card. Sobrang lambot. My God, parang binabad sa downy. She looks like she's wearing expensive perfume. Totoo yun. Just by looking at the photo. Ang bango niya tignan. But I have one critique. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the high-waist nude panties showing through. Totoo. Not sure if it's a high-waist nude panty or is it if it's a corset. Corset. Yeah. Baka corset. Pero yun nga, sana natago ng maayos. Or hindi na lang siya nag -tanty. Ganun, no? no? Yeah, like inner wear for it. Sayang, nasira. Nasira ang yung illusion, but still, Diyosa pa din. With that face, who would look down? I mean, with that face, may titingin pa ba? Sa baba? Well, you did, girl. Well, true. 
napansin mo nga eh. Well, totoo din naman. Pero I think it's not that much of a bothersome thing for me. Totoo, maganda pa din siya. Maganda pa rin siya, it's still well put together. Maybe... Mukha siyang prom queen. Yes, let's just assume that she is also a daughter of a very conservative politician. Oh, kaya ayaw ipakita. <laughs> yeah, ayaw ipakita. Ganun na lang. Gawa natin siya ng kwento to make it to make it pass. Okay. So for that, Miss Fiva, we give you a busted. Next up is Margo. What do you think? As much as I want to say na ito yung pinakamaganda kong nakita si Margo sa buong season, yeah. I feel like hindi siya nakaka-prom queen. Para siyang mother of the bride. I see what you're saying. The gown is stunning. The hair is gorgeous. And the face is gorgeous. But I think this aged her a bit. Yun nga. Like, hindi siya nagmukhang prom queen nga. Lalo na yung hair. Yeah. Kumbaga, if you think of prom, you know, you're gonna think youthful and Totoo, all that. Totoo, josa na hair or ponytail. Totoo, josa-josa. Yung kulot na nakaganon. <laughs> Yeah, but I see what you're saying. I think this look is too mature for prom. Yeah. But the gown is stunning. Sobrang ganda ng gown. Yeah, for a different category, maybe. Sobrang ganda maybe. Din True. Sobrang sayang. So for that, Margot, we're gonna give you a busted. <laughs> Our next queen is Mo. In fairness, nakaka-main character siya. In fairness, alam mo, ito yung bakla mong classmate na nag-attend ng prom na alam mong ex-senadora. Totoo, like yung gusto may patunayan. <laughs> Totoo, this is giving main character vibes in a prom. Girl with that crown. Kaya nga, wala pong na-announce na winner. Na prom queen, no? Prom queen agad siya. Yeah, I love this. It was a different approach compared to the others. This stands out for that reason. Yeah. And what do you think? I feel like ang prom queen na uh, atake ni Moy is vintage. Kay Margot, uh, hindi talaga siya mukhang prom queen. Actually, I see Moy's gown in a prom more compared to Margot. Yun nga. So, I like this. Margot's was giving matriarchal vibes. Very that. While Moy's giving a bit more edgy vibes. Okay, gets, gets, like, gets, I see, gets. I see this girl in prom serving it. Totoo. And as we said, my main character syndrome siya. Yeah, parang alam niya mag-ibang kulay, mag-red, mag-green, mag-blue, mag-pink yung mga yes. ibang babae. So for that, Moy, still, we are gonna give you a busted. Our next queen is none other than Mrs. Mrs. Tan. I don't see this in a prom. Yeah, this but... This is more of an evening gown competition type of gown. Very that. Mukha siyang bukan yes. kasali sa pageant. It's giving more evening gown rather than prom queen kind of vibes for me. At yung a-attend ng prom na hindi pa papasukin ng principal. Totoo, kasi madaming skin. True, <laughs> because it's too revealing. At bawal yan sa all boys <laughs> at school. <laughs> But Mrs. Tan is stunning. In fairness, Joss is here. Sobrang ganda ni Mrs. Tan dyan. Giving goddess vibes, which is new for Mrs. Tan. <laughs> so, <laughs> But yeah, and for that, still, Mrs. Tan, we're gonna give you a busted. busted. <laughs> Last queen is Miss Russia Fox. Do you like it? Unfortunately, no. Same. I mean, I love. I like the gown. She looks beautiful as always. Yep. Yep. Pero ang brief sa kanila is prom queen. And we're not getting that kind of vibe from this look. It's a bit the same when it comes to silhouette with Mrs. Tan. Totoo. Masyadong pinagent nyo. Yeah, it's too evening gown for me. Totoo. Yeah. In sayang kasi maganda yung gowns. Maganda sila that night. Maganda rin sila. Maganda overall look. Pero hindi talaga siya prom. Yeah, screaming prom. So, for that, Miss Russia, we're gonna give you a Busted. busted. Oh my god, I just realized. What? We, we busted almost half oh, yeah. of the remaining queens. 43% to be exact. 0.5. Yes. But to be fair, wala namang tapon talaga. Wala talaga. Everybody looked beautiful. Everybody delivered. Unfortunately, we were looking for like a prom kind of look. 
Yes, yes. Yeah, it was our understanding of what a prom attendee should look like. Missed opportunity though. Nobody wore a ball gown. Totoo. So usually, yung mga dresses sa prom, mga ball gowns. Ball gowns, yeah. As, as in youthful looking, princess type, na shih tzu. <laughs> Did you attend prom? Oh, baby, I am the prom. <laughs> I did actually Ooh. miss Iris night because I am prom. D, <laughs> beautiful island of the Philippines. Oh my God. So, kung sila nag-aagawa sa prom queen ikaw, prom D. Prom D po ako, yes. <laughs> so, with that for this episode, mm -hmm. we will be choosing the bussiest of them all based on who delivered on both the theme wear and the main drag showdown. Which means the bussiest of them all this episode is... Deja! Deja! Congratulations! Congrats, sis! And this is also her second win. True, the first to win for this season. And that concludes today's drag investigations and we are your prom queens and also our drag investigators catch all new episodes of drag then season two retribution thursdays only on oh. prime video dun, dun. <sighs> to be young. While their prom looks gave us all truly a night to remember, I barely remember my prom. I mean, it was such a long time ago. It was like the 1900s. The competition is getting tight, and now we're left with some very strong and fiercely talented drag artists. Speaking of strong and fierce, can you guess next episode's themes based on these riddles? For theme wear, down with the system, stick it to the man. Down with the system, but make it glam. And for our main drag showdown, She's not just a lady, she's much more. Strong and independent, hear her roar. Leave your comments down below and we'll see you next week. All is well in the drag cartel. Drag addicts, all is well.